Hey y'all, I'm at my son's baseball practice and this light, <laughs> it's fine. It's just going to be what it is because I need to go ahead and say this message uh, while it's coming through me. So I have, uh, as y'all know, I have been feeling kind of like stuck and stagnant and I have been like really focusing on my self care and self love and showing myself like grace and compassion because anytime that you're in that stuck and stagnation feeling, it means that you're shifting into a new identity or you're about to like a new chapter of your life and you got to break down a lot of like old beliefs and just narratives, energetic cords from the past things that aren't serving you. And so it's just a lot of processing that comes with that and it's very exhausting. I have been absolutely burnt the F out this last week and what I would have done in the past is I would have like put a lot of pressure on myself and like tried to just like push through and like hustle and grind but this time I'm like you know what we're not doing that because that that doesn't lead to good results so we're just gonna chill and we're gonna vibe and everything's fine right now okay <laughs> and we're just gonna go in internally and so I've really like buckled down on doing my meditations, going on my walks, um, scripting, listening to my own affirmation tapes, uh, just do, doing the things that help keep my energy up and keep my mental state clear. And so I had a conversation with a friend earlier, uh, Kimberly, I love you if you, if you're watching this <laughs> and I wanted to kind of talk about how I was feeling. And then she asked me if I wanted to talk about it. And I was like, no, actually that's not going to help anything. And she was like, yes, it will. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And so I talked about it and then I felt a lot better because it does help. Like there's a difference between like trauma dumping and like venting with your friends. <laughs> right? And like what I was doing was just like, yeah, let me just kind of like work out, peace out. Right. But that's what me and my friends do. Like we're, we're trying to have self-awareness questions. We all know the difference between those conversations, right? And it did. And I'm really glad that she pushed me to do that. Okay. Cause it helped clear some stuff. And so then I went into meditation and I went in my subconscious and I was envisioning, imagining myself in my dream home. It's not just about the dream home, though. It's like the dream reality, like the whole entire thing, okay? But the house is like an anchor point marker for that <laughs> because it's something I've um, been working on for a long time. And so I, and you got to imagine and envision yourself there in order to receive the intuitive downloads, okay? And the action steps that you need to take. Because if you're trying to do that from your current identity, that's where we get stuck. And so I go in there and I, and I walk in the door and I was like, Hey, uh, Benny, that's my son. I was like, I'm home. And then I go in the kitchen and I'm making like a smoothie in a blender and I'm putting like these strawberries in with his ice and this is future me. Okay. And then all of a sudden I turn around and there's me in the, in the now sitting at the counter at the breakfast bar. And I was like, Oh, Hey, <laughs> I was like, do you want to talk about what's been going on? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so I was explaining to her and she was like, okay, you are putting like so much pressure on yourself to have everything figured out right now. And I was like, well, how did you get to where you're at? Okay. <laughs> in this new house and in this new life. And she was like doing exactly what you're doing right now. Embodying future me. She was like, I'm actually doing that with another version. <laughs> okay. Like further future out us. And she was like, getting in that emotional vibration, that frequency state as if it's already happened. And the more that you hold that vibration, the more those downloads and intuitive nudges come in. She was like, you have spent so much of your life doing these external action steps, which is great. Okay. Cause you got to take action with manifesting. But she was like, that's not the place that we need to be coming from initially. Like you, you need to, get in the energetics of who you want to be first and so that you can get the right steps to take <laughs> and she was like the more you do this right now everything will flow naturally and come to you okay and so we, we talked about a whole bunch of other stuff and it was just beautiful and it was just it brought so much like clarity and then i started talking to my subconscious 
because I was talking to my higher self, subconscious is a little bit different. Subconscious is where all that limited belief stuff is coming from. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what's going on? Let's have a chat. Which in this case, I was my subconscious is higher self. And my subconscious is like, I'm so frustrated because I'm trying to figure all these things out. And I just don't understand what steps to take and all this stuff. And I was like, do you think that I'm upset with you? And my subconscious is like, yeah. Like, I'm not living up to who I want to be for you. And I was like, I don't need you to do that. I was like, my love is not conditional. Okay. We're in a process right now. Like, nobody is expecting us to, to figure this stuff out right now. Like I, like, I know that our ego and the trauma that we have been through and all of those things make you feel that way. But I just want you to know that I don't feel that way that we're fine exactly where we're at in life and as a matter of fact we always figure it out I was like I want you to tell me a time where we haven't figured it out and my subconscious is like oh yeah I was like yeah every time time in 3d human land makes things feel pressure I was like we're an infinite being I was like there's no need to do that to ourselves we're always making forward movement we're always growing, we're always expanding, we're never staying the same, we're always taking on new challenges, we're a very forward momentum type of being. I said sometimes the forward movement that you need to take is rest and relaxation and reevaluation and maybe just trying new things because some things may not be in resonance with us anymore and we're grasping onto them because we're trying to control our environment from or control self from a trauma response that is burning us out and making life not so fun. <laughs> I was like, but what if we kind of let go of that for a minute and we just be a little bit more present and go in internally and find that compass within so we can clear the space to hear our intuition and that higher self, that new version, that new identity <clears throat> and align with them and just take it day by day. Like literally day by day, hour by hour, and just ask our body, what is the best decision for me in this now moment? And just move from that space. It doesn't need to be a hurry, 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 hurry. We got to do it right now. Like we're not 95 years old. Okay. <laughs> in this incarnation, it's not like we have, you know, a limited time left. I was like, we have this whole entire life journey out in front of us. Let's make it a little bit more enjoyable. And my subconscious really just needed to hear like, I love it unconditionally. I'm not trying to pressure you. We will figure it out when it's meant to be figured out, but we can definitely have a lot more fun along the way because when you're having fun, time doesn't work the same, <laughs> okay? It's a lot more enjoyable. Uh, so I wanted to share this in case it inspires you, in case you needed these reminders, in case you need to know that you're also loved unconditionally. I love you unconditionally. <laughs> okay, you're a beautiful star beam. Uh, I'm sending you a big hug, a lot of fairy love, and I hope you have a very magical day.